Spoiler warning. This video will obviously contain spoilers. If you haven't beat the main story of Fallout 76 Wastelanders yet, then what are you doing? Stop watching YouTube videos. Go and beat it. It's been like over two weeks, I think, now. I, I don't know where time is, but yeah, go and beat it. Beat Wastelanders already. Then once you've beat Wastelanders, you can come back and watch this video. And uh, yeah, let's, let's actually get started on the video now. Hello everyone, and welcome to a fairly brief guide on the various ways to earn Gold Bullion, the endgame currency for Fallout 76 Wastelanders. In order to start earning gold, you will need to complete the main story of Wastelanders, siding with either the Raiders or the Settlers, and heisting Vault 79. Once this is done, you will receive 500 gold, a very healthy amount to start off with. After this point, there will then open up a few new ways to earn Gold Bullion. First is completing the Wastelander dailies. The Raider dailies, the Settler daily, and the daily photo opportunity will all reward you with treasury notes when completed, providing you've completed the Vault Heist. These treasury notes can then be exchanged at the gold vending machines located at Crater and Foundation. Both of these vending machines are located next to the point where you will also find the faction gold traders, but we'll get to that later. Each treasury note is equal to 10 gold bullion, and you can trade in for a total of 200 gold bullion a day, meaning 20 treasury notes a day. For this reason, you'll be wanting to earn more notes each day than just the dailies give you. Fortunately, you will also earn treasury notes from completing public events. These are the events you receive notifications about when they begin, and appear on the map with an exclamation mark. I would highly recommend doing as many of these public events as you can each day, in order to maximise how many treasury notes you earn. It seems you can earn 2 or 3 treasury notes per event, meaning that completing 7-10 to 10 public events a day would guarantee the maximum amount of gold from a vending machine. This would be quite a challenge on its own, but you can combine it with a trio of Wastelander daily quests in order to reduce this total number down by a few. Treasury notes alone aren't the only way to earn gold though. You can also buy gold directly. After the Vault Raid, if you go back to the Wayward and head upstairs, you will find a rather patriotic individual by the name of Smiley. He is willing to sell you gold bullion at a cost of 1,000 caps per 50 gold, up to a maximum of 300 gold for 6,000 caps. After buying this level of gold, you will then have to wait until the next week in order to purchase from him again. For this reason, you're going to be wanting to make as many caps as possible. I already have a couple of videos on making caps on my channel, the more recent one being my player vending guide. If you want an additional and more advanced caps guide though, then let me know down in the comments. So there are the ways you earn gold bullion in 76. Now onto why you want it. There are a trio of unique vendors who sell plans which can only be bought with gold bullion. Regs inside Vault 79, Mortimer at the Crater Core, and Samuel at Foundation. Mortimer and Samuel have a more limited number of items, and what they sell is dependent on your current reputation within their faction. The higher your reputation, the more plans they will be selling. As for Regs, all of his plans will be available right away, and there's a lot of them. From the Plasma Caster to Secret Service Armor, these plans are some of the best stuff around, so you're going to be wanting a lot of them. Problem is, most items are fairly pricey. I actually totaled up all of Reg's plans, and if you want to buy each and every one of them, then it will cost you a grand total of 55,900 gold bullion. I also decided I would work out how long it would take to purchase everything if you bought the maximum amount of gold each week, traded in 20 treasury notes a day, and included the initial 500 bullion you start with. A quick run through on the calculator has it come in as taking 32.588 weeks to purchase everything at maximum efficiency. Round up to 33 weeks, and that's a total of 231 days to earn all the gold you need to buy every plan Regs has. Keep in mind that you would then still need to buy all the plans from both faction vendors, who, although having much more limited and better value stock, still would take some time to grind out. What this means is that you're going to have to think carefully about what it is you actually want to buy. Sure, having a plasma caster is nice and all, but if you're not a heavy weapons build, then maybe you should try and get the secret service armor instead. Getting all the plans isn't something you really should be aiming for, unless you plan on playing Fallout 76 just about every day for the next year. If you're not a hardcore player, then save up your bullion, work out precisely what you want, and then just focus on getting that. 
So, there is my guide on the new currency in Fallout 76. If you found this video informative or helpful in any way, then please leave a like to let me know that. Subscribe to the channel and make sure to ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any other videos, and consider taking a look at the various links to my socials in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. Sergeant.